What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Trucker News. Email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. You know, for the ones that don't remember, around October 2nd, Estes had a cyber attack. And, you know, shut down their systems, and all 8,000 drivers plus and all the employees had to work their butts off to the caveman way to deliver shipments. And the president and CEO of Estes just had something to say to all of their customers and just thanking all their drivers. I thought that was pretty cool. So, you know, Mother Truckers, you know, for all the Estes drivers out there to all the 8,000, good job, Mother Trucker News. You know, we appreciate you guys. We love you guys and just appreciate you guys for moving America. And that's crazy that there was this cyber attack that lasts so long. If you're an SS driver, comment down below, you know, and say how long you've been working for the company. And, you know, we just want to say we appreciate you. But here's a word from your guys' president. Hello, customers of Estes Express Lines. I'm pleased to share this update on the steady progress we're making toward restoring our system's capabilities and delivering the top-notch service you both expect and deserve. Our restoration over the past couple weeks has been a 24-7 event. We've been working with GuidePoint Security, an outstanding forensics cybersecurity company, to safely bring our systems back online. And that's enabled us to turn on our website, as well as MyEstis and our shipping applications. So once again, you can get rate quotes, request pickups, and track your shipments all online. Our API connections are also available to integrate our shipping functionality into our customers' business applications and websites. And we've also restored our image document retrieval API. Please know that we're working hard to get all scanned images into our system so that invoicing can resume soon. With our APIs back online and the robust restoration efforts and information security improvements we've put in place, we continue to see our customers choosing Estes for their shipping needs. We know you have choices, so we'd like to thank our many customers who've stuck by us through this challenge. Your trust in us has helped drive our efforts toward returning online quickly, responsibly, and safely. We're committed to finding even more ways to take care of you, our valued customers. Rest assured, our entire leadership team is working tirelessly to complete the restoration of our systems and make them even safer. We've hardened our technology environment and we're building back stronger than ever. Again, please accept my sincere thanks for your patience and trust. And for those of you considering Estes for your transportation needs, Please know that we've worked nonstop to rebuild, restore, and strengthen our systems. Yes, Estes is back, we're strong, and we're ready to deliver for you. All right, so, Alan, for the people that are not truck drivers, what kind of hauling is this? Oh, uh, this is actually what they call cow trailers, uh, hauling cows, killer cows, feeders, uh, yearlings. That's what they do when they haul. Feed lots of sale barns to the sale barns or either out in the fields to the fields or whatever, just transport back and forth. What we got over here? All right, what we got here is a 1973 Peterbilt cab over which was bought along with the trailer. It's all a matching unit. It was bought together, coupled together, hauled together. It was only been separated for a few years and then we put it right back together. So, but uh, it's a 73 model Peterbilt. It's got the uh, Detroit AB92 silver, uh, uh, what they call a two-stroke motor, 13-speed, double over, 390 geared. It's 250-inch wheelbase. It's all original, original paint, original interior, original trailer. So what, so what makes you a cab over guy now? Oh man, the cab overs was it. You know, back in the day, that's all they had. You know, and it, the real, what I call the real truck drivers, or the real men of this country that started this, that's what they drove. <laughs> yes, sir. How long you been trucking? Oh, I'm Alan Shoemate. I've been trucking, well, basically all my life. Grew up in it from three to four generations. You know, I mean, where are we right now? Because this looks like a lounge in here. Oh, yeah. We're actually in Mobile right now at the Drag Strip, Irvington, Alabama. We come out for a big truck show. Uh, we're just here to support the trucks, the drivers. I mean, that's what makes America great, you know, is us. So we're just here to do what we do i love it i love it now you gotta walk me around what we got start pointing and touring all right well the actual trailer itself is a 74 model wilson triple deck trailer the cow is a 1975 model 
Uh -oh. <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, Twin Valley Farms out of Prattville or Tower County, Alabama, give this cow to a family that served for eight families, 218 pounds of beef per family. That's how huge this cow was. They, wow. they do it once a year for Christmas time. The trailer itself, we don't haul anything. Uh, we basically just turn it into a, a show piece. Just for people to come in and enjoy, you know, sit down. They've never been inside a cow trailer, but they've seen them go up and down the road, so they don't know what they look like. But, so we just added a few things, swing, porches, uh, of course, tables and church pews and all that to sit in, you know. Just basically, it is what it is. You know, it's just all about people, all about the family, the kids, basically. So that's what we're here for, just support everybody and everybody enjoy the seven and have fun. You know, uh, what makes you love trucking so much? Like I said, man, I grew up in it, and it's my life, you know, my passion. I love it. Whether it's turning wrenches or driving down the road, I love every bit of it. I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate yes, you, sir. What's your name, brother? John Matt. How long you been trucking? 32 years. You know, we're looking at this beautiful truck here. What kind of truck we got right here? So 4379. You know, how many miles you got on this motor? Oh, it's a million and four. A million and four? So here's my question to you. Why is it that the new trucks can't last this long? The yep system. Wow. That's they real. They will not hold up. They jump. They designed to last for like 500,000 miles, and then you're going to rebuild it probably between five and 600,000. Wow. You know, and we were having conversations before I turned the camera on. You know, how's trucking change, you know? I know this could be a long conversation, but in a nutshell, what would you like to see uh, from trucking again? Respect. There's no respect in the trucking no more. You got people walking around in short pants, flip flops, can't move out of the fuel island. They gotta take their 30 minute break on the fuel island, which is shit. If you can't move off the fuel island, move it. Or I can move it. I don't care. It, it's all about respect. I appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, thank you.